Denver's warm welcome for migrants appears to be at its limit. Advocates for immigrants are now telling the city that they can literally help no more. We are live this evening at Su Teatro on Santa Fe in Denver for the premiere of the Nine News documentary Una Vida Nueva on the migrant experience in Denver. We begin this evening with Mark Salinger on the city's plan to tell a number of migrant families and shelters that their time is up. You know, this is where we are. This is where we are, so, you know, it's not going to be easy, so... If there is one person who knows the challenges of 40,000 migrants arriving in Denver, it's Yoli Casas. It is going to be a huge challenge. Yoli is the head of Vive Wellness, leading the efforts by nonprofits to help people who've arrived here from the southern border. As the city of Denver prepares to resume discharging migrant families from shelters next Monday, she's still trying to figure out exactly how it'll be possible to keep them from becoming homeless. There's no more room, there's no more funding. Something has to be done and to the point where I even requested myself that we close Denver. 150 people will be discharged from the shelters on Monday and more will follow every day. Yoli says there are 743 families that currently need housing. Some of those could become homeless by Monday. The first day we have 22 families that uh, we don't know what to do. They don't, they're like, you know, we don't know where to go. In November, the city paused discharging families from shelters. Now there's no money and no room. Yoli, one of the biggest advocates for migrants in the city, says it's time to stop letting more people come to Denver. Something's going to happen. I mean, it's not, it's going to collapse. If, if people keep coming and we still have people who don't even know what to do. So. It is unsustainable. It's unsustainable to continue spending at this rate. Uh, we know that. We John Ewing is with Denver Human Services. When the city starts discharging families who've stayed in shelters for more than their allotted 42 days, the city will no longer guarantee housing. The city's message is also starting to change away from one of welcoming support. That's why we're constantly telling people you really may want to consider another city that has more to offer right now. Denver has already decided that February 5th means families will start being discharged from shelters. What hasn't been determined is where they will go. It's hard, you know, they're crying and begging and it's like, and, and some of them are upset and it's like, it's totally understandable. It's, it's a not an easy thing. Yoli has a plea that she would like us to share. If anyone has an apartment, rental home, extra room, anything that they are able to rent to migrants, they are in desperate need. As of right now, they still need nearly two dozen leases for people who will be kicked out of the shelters on Monday. Those are families as well. We have more information on our website, 9 as to how you can help. Kyle, that is where we're at right now, making pleas like this. Yeah, Mark, this this feels like a turning point because Yoli Casas has really been the point person from the nonprofit side helping the migrants. And it's the first time we've heard her publicly say we can't help any more people. The city must do something to stop the flow. Exactly. It feels like we are at an inflection point where we say there is just literally nothing more that we can do. We are out of space. We are out of money. And you even hear the spokesperson for the city saying this is unsustainable. Tonight following the premiere of Una Vida Nueva, which you can watch at 7 o'clock on 9 News Plus and streaming on 9news.com. We will have a town hall. Two of the participants will be Yoli Casas and Mayor Mike Johnston, and we'll discuss what she had to say. Mark Salinger, thank you.